Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and rabbits and guinea pigs and geckos and every... Yeah, soon I'll be writing out the Noah's Ark in my intro. Welcome to today's video. Today we're off to Ormskirk. We're going to do the Charity Shop Championship. We're going to see where Ormskirk um, sits in the table. If you don't know who I am, my name's Kieran. I run Ramage Around. I've been a full-time reseller now for four and a half years, which is crazy. I do eBay, Amazon, Vinted, Depop, all that good stuff. Uh, I buy as low as possible and try and sell it as high as possible. Uh, that's my business model. That's how I pay for my bills. That's how I pay for my living. So without further ado, let's get a move on. Let's get a wiggle on and see what we can find today. Obviously, being a reseller, you need Decathlon bags or Marco bags or um, Ikea bags. So we're going to go with the Decathlon this day. Let's see if we can fill this bad boy up to the brim. I haven't been to this town for about, for a long time. Maybe like a week. First stop, Bernardo's. Look at this lovely CNA vintage large Aztec cardigan. That should be at least a minimum of 35 pound oh nice pirate x just a plain jumper but this brand is a beast Oosh. so we are in a bit of a rush today but next stop cancer research straight to the trainers what are these sort of like night jordans yes they are interesting no no other trainers so let's go have a look at these and see what i think so the trainers, they seem legit, seem good, really good condition. Do need a bit of a clean, but hopefully we can scrub that up. Probably aim for about 30 pounds. Let's have a look at some coats. Champion, super dry, super dry. Ooh, 1971 Reese, 16 pound, double breasted. Feels kind of good to be honest. I think we might have found something else, 16 pound, but this may be way worth this. Let's have a look. Yep, that's a no-brainer. There's literally one on eBay for about 130 quid. So I thought we were onto a winner, but looking inside, I've had this thing out on the table and it doesn't look like it's actually part of that. That's a shame because Ireland Extreme Stunts is quite an old Lego game. So I thought we were onto a winner, but it's completely different set inside. Yeah, like I said, we are in a bit of a rush today. So, next stop, the YMCA. Let's be having you. Uh, all ladies, buy one, get one half price. Let's go. Oh, it's only a handy max. These are probably only worth about a tenner. But some old school sort of like point and shoot sort of 35 mil lens cameras do really, really well. So definitely want to look out for them. This is actually only a 33. Uh, yeah, it's probably only worth about a tenner. That's a shame. My masterpieces would be in his element right here. But me, I have no idea what I'm looking at. So they're like five quid each, but they've got all these attachments on it as well. So like the stock seems to be worth a bit. The sight seems to be worth a bit. And the gun itself seems to be worth a bit. And there's two of them. Do we take a punt and just go with it and see what happens? They are selling quite well in America and Canada. Hmm. What would you guys do? Would you take the punt or, or not? Yep, we're taking the punt. And as I was about to leave this section, we found another one, but this one's actually a Nerf Super Soaker. It's got a shield and an extra large drum, five quid. This one's actually selling quite comfortably on eBay for 35 pound. And now we're coming into sort of the spring and the summer. This is the sort of stuff that I want to be picking up. Things you do for half price on clothes. I wrote a little Valentine's sticky note to the horse. <laughs> and somebody has done this. Subscribe to Rummage Around. Whoever's done that, love you lots. Enough messing about. Let's get to work. Next up, Salvation Army. These look really good. Sanders. Joel, £30. However, they're in excellent condition. And this particular model probably goes for about 90 quid. So, 13 to 90 before fees and postage, you're probably looking at about 50 quid profit. So 
I think we're going to take them. Choose that, I think that's pretty much it from this shop. Uh, we have picked some other bits up that I haven't shown on camera, so you'll have to wait until we get to the hall to see them. But yeah, so far, pretty good. So we're in a different shop. Different phone as well, by the way, guys, because, you know, my one ran out. Orca Bay. What a cheeky little brand. Boat shoes. They are $9.99. Should get about 30 and Then we've got this Tiffany style sort of like candle holder. Really nice stainless glass. Like I said, stiff Tiffany style. Uh, not too sure price wise, but it's only two quid, so uh, I think it's worth a punt. So, yeah, we are in the penultimate charity shop, and I think we might we might have a new winner. And the last charity shop of the day, Bernardo's. Let's see oh, what they have inside today. The men's section has literally shrunk. That's it, that's all we've got to play with. <laughs> what? As usual, we go straight to the trainers and shoes and all that good stuff, but nah, I don't do too well with men's hotter stuff. Yeah, let's have a look. Would you believe it or not? Didn't find anything in the men's section. Next up, the toys. Yeah, there isn't much in the toy section either, which is not good. I think we found something. Yeah, boy. 1984 pushback. Sort of fish price go kart. Should be about, what, 20 quid on eBay? On about 50? Oh, what have I just done to it? It's okay. We fixed it. But yeah, 150 into about 18. It is missing its sticker, but I think we're okay with that. Right, charity shopping done. To the car, then to home. And then I'll show you the haul. But yeah, we've got a couple of bags full. Oh. Bag one, bag two. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing where this sort of stands in the uh, charity shop championship table. So we are now back from Ormskirk. So without further ado, let's just get crack on with today's haul. It's a bit of a boomer. We spent roughly £135. I'll have a running total down here. P.S. How awesome is the freaking LED light? We've finally got it up and running. It still needs to be attached to the wall up there, but that's for another day. So yeah, £135 we've spent and uh, we've got two huge bagfuls. We've got a pair of Orca Bay shoes. Orca Bay is very, very easy to identify. It literally says Orca Bay on the soles and it has a little symbol of a sort of C inside the sole they paid 10 pound and we should be looking at at least 30 pound back in the spring slash summer we then have a 1984 fisher price sort of go-kart push back pull back and go sort of thingy me bobby very very old school vintage fisher price stuff does tend to hold a little bit of value and for that reason this is why i picked it up it was only one pound and 50 pence so i should be getting at least 20 pound back from that unfortunately it doesn't have the numbered sticker here however i have seen ones go for about 18 to 20 quid so uh yeah really really happy with that we then picked up this super soaker nerf thingy my bobby look how weird and wonderful this is hey by the way big up rummage for like picking up stuff that that isn't clothing look at the size of this thing it's a beast uh, believe it or not, you should be able to get about £35 for this, which is really, really, really quite cool. It has the shield. Some people are selling the shield on its own. And it does have the extra large drum thing as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it all together and sell it as one big job lot thing and probably aim for about £35. Sticking with the Super Soaker theme, we have picked up two Super Soaker... Well, what the hell are these? I shot myself in the face in the charity shop with one of these and it does work because water did absolutely squirt all over my face but i uh, don't want to do that now actually because there's a lot of electrics uh, in and around this room it should be again really good money and stuff like this these are old they're 2009 so they're not too old they are pushing you know the vintage mark if you want to say that but they're not you know 2009 is not vintage uh should be looking probably 25 maybe even £30 each, but for the sake of this video, £25. We do have two of them. People are selling the stocks on their own and the sites on their own for about £15 a piece. So uh, yeah, some decent money to be made in sort of old school super soaker stuff. 
We then picked up these Jordans. They seem to be pretty, pretty good, like legitimate wise. They all match the stitching's good, good weight to them. They are slightly lighter than normal because they are that type of shoe. They seem to be in really good condition. The stitching is really nice. They are good quality pair of shoes, to be fair. Just some Jordan pulses, I think they are maybe. Something like that. Give them a quick clean. It should be sure about £30 there or thereabouts. So really nice condition. Yeah, eight into 30. We take that. We then picked up this beautiful 1971 Reese double-breasted Grenson jacket. It's kind of got like a wax feel to it, but it's not. But there is only one on eBay. And it's up for about £100, £120 all in. Um, it's coming from America as well. So I have no real idea what to price this at. However, it's Reese. It's in really good condition. I spent £16. So I want to try and maximise my money on this. So I am going to aim pretty, pretty high on this and probably aim towards the 80-ish pound for this. So 16 into 80, really not too shibby shabby indeed. Now oh, this is a cool piece. This is like a vintage uh, CNA. CNA, what used to be massive when I used to live in Germany. This is the brand. It's actually just a high street brand, but it's a really thick wool cardigan. Look at that. It's an absolute thing of beauty paid eight pound and there's loads of solds and loads of listed in and around the 35 to 45 pound mark it's got kind of nice like wooden buttons as well so i am going to stick it up for 35 pound uh it might not be this time of year but it will definitely go for 35 pound next year because that is a vintage beaut talking about buttes this is a beauty of a brand to be on the lookout for it looks like just a plain navy jumper however this is the patch you want to be looking out for pyronex pyronex is a beast absolute thing of beauty it's designed in france and it should command a nice bit of money it is my size so uh it might not actually command any money because i might keep it you know what i'm saying that's the problem with reselling clothes is i tend to keep a lot of them uh but definitely be on the lookout for that brand there pyronex it's a beautiful beautiful piece um should be a comfortable 40 quid minimum i am um, i'm not letting it go for any less because if it doesn't go for the 40 i'll keep it We've got a pair of Levi dungarees. Look at that. I have never seen, well, not very often do I ever see a Levi dungarees. So I was picking this up all day long. I think it was like really, really cheap as well. What was it? Five quid. A fiver for a pair of Levi dungarees. I mean, you're not saying no to that, are you? Look at them. They're absolutely stunning. They're cool. They're awesome. Five quid. Money is definitely safe. Uh, I'm going to say, what, 30 quid? I don't know. I've never sold it before. However, I will have a screenshot, hopefully, if I remember to do it in the editing, of uh, of the correct sort of price, and I'll uh, adjust it accordingly. But yeah, Levi dungarees, what a little cheeky pickup. We then have a beautiful floral sort of bodycon maxi dress, sort of like quarter sleeve whistles dress. Should be an easy 25 quid. We then have a Joanna Hope, brand new with tags, uh... Uh, I've never really sold Johanna Hope before, but it was brand new and it looks quite good to be fair. It's a very long dress. So because it's brand new, I am going to aim for about the 30-ish pound, 25 pound mark. But I think my money's definitely safe with that one. We then have this absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cashmere Wallace fur long coat look at this it's got fur curves it's got fur around the hood it's got beautiful cashmere it's a long wool cashmere blend coat and it's wallace it's seven pound fifty easy peasy lemon money 30 quid all day long my favorite pickup of the day is a pair of sanders these are the sanders joel uh, they're in really good condition. They're in a nice khaki desert boot, sort of like felt bottoms as well, like proper sturdy. Sanders is a beautiful made in England brand. You all want to be on the lookout for Sanders. Um, write it down on your bolo list because if you ever do find a pair of Sanders, they are worth checking. These, believe it or not, should be a quite comfortable £90. So we spent £135, right? £90 of that's back with these buttes they're absolutely stunning they're in stupendously good condition um yeah 
about 90 quid. A Tiffany styled sort of like candle holder, sort of like stainless glass. It's a very Jack Hoody pick up this. We should be looking at a comfortable 15 pound if we were to resell this. But uh, I've got to try and persuade the missus to sell this to be able to get some money back. Another Joanna Hope brand new with tags, six pound. Again, I think probably about 30 quid. Same sort of style, it's quite lacy. It's quite thick, it's brand new. It is what it is. It's a bish bash bosh. Bish bash flipping bosh. You know what? Bish bash bosh to this haul because this is a hella haul from one town. We then have this like beautiful turtleneck sort of striped pattern, but it's Karen Millen. So that's the reason why we picked this up. Should be an easy £20. So that's why we picked that one up. What we got here, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very, very nice, I think this is Karen Millen as well. This is a really nice uh, striped, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Beautiful Karen Millen's wall jumper. That should be again, 2025. And then we have another Karen Millen turtleneck dress, which again, is that sort of same style. Look at that, it's a thing of beauty. This camera really doesn't do this justice at, at all. This is, I oh know it's Weekend by Max Mara, my bad. Sorry, Max Mara, I thought you were. Karen Millen, Max Mara, even better, probably a nice easy 25, 30 quid back on that one. And this is the matching sort of like pencil skirt to go with that again. So maybe what, 30, 35-ish, there or thereabouts. And the last, last piece is a Dax Signature, which is again, a beautiful brand to be on the lookout for. Dax London, it's a London brand. Dax Signature sort of blazer thing. It's kind of pastel color, it's okay. It's not my cup of tea. I definitely don't think I'd fit in it. Um, let's try it on. <laughs> Oh my days, that is tight. Oh. oh, I think it's a ladies. All my days, I don't want to breathe. But that is probably worth, what, 25, 30 quid? Oh my days. Oh, it stinks of perfume. Woo! And that, guys, is the end of the haul. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and rabbits. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Smash that like button. That beautiful LED light, it looks, it looks so good. I'm so glad it worked properly. So glad to have it. Um, it's taken me so long to get it. And uh, yeah, really happy with that. So let me know in the comment section below what's your favorite pickup of today's videos. Mine is probably the Super Soak, because I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that in the garden in a minute. It's pitch black and it's probably minus one degrees, but I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna play with it because why the hell not? Gotta test it before we sell it, you see? That sort of good things. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you beautiful lot in the next ones. La 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 la, smash that love button, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you next week. Boom!